A-list actor, camping gear spokesman, makeup artist, Jeremy Renner has worn many hats throughout his life. These are some of the weirder parts you may have forgotten about. A lot of celebrities launched apps in the mid-2010s, and Jeremy Renner certainly wasn't the only one who lacked Kardashian-level fame at the time. So while the genesis of the Jeremy Renner app certainly makes the actor appear a little eccentric, it might not have seemed like a totally insane idea in 2017. Today, the Jeremy Renner app absolutely seems like a totally insane idea, but that's only because of our power of hindsight. Sadly, the Jeremy Renner app devolved into a cluster muck of mythic proportions. Folks didn't always comprehend what it was supposed to do or why it should cost money. Its service was prone to glitches and confusing info. Trolls impersonating Renner and potentially upsetting figures like O.J. Simpson and Casey Anthony inundated the service. In 2019, Renner himself pulled the plug. While we obviously don't have any knowledge of the man's personal finances, it's possible Jeremy Renner doesn't need to continue acting. Even if Marvel decided to kill off Clint Barton, it's not like he'd be wanting for roles or presumably money. Ever since his acting career began generating cash in the early 2000s, Renner's cultivated a side business in buying, renovating, and reselling multi-million dollar residences. As of a 2016 Bloomberg report, Renner had purchased and remodeled upward of 20 houses. So you and your buddy buy the house, move into it while move you're renovating. It, and then start tearing it apart. In an interview with Bloomberg, Renner had this to say about his relatively unglamorous moonlighting in real estate. Every home should have two things, a bar and a really nice bed. I like to entertain and having a bar to hang out at is so much better than hanging out in the kitchen. Before Renner caught a break with SWAT in 2003, he performed around Hollywood in a rock group called Sons of Ben, which included members of Tonic. You might not immediately recognize the name Tonic, but you've probably heard the group's 1996 alternative rock hit, If You Could Only See. Renner told Playboy in a 2015 interview, "...we wound up doing a bunch of acoustic gigs around town. It had an Eagles kind of sound, but edgier." Like a handful of other celebrities, Jeremy Renner has an Amazon store. This store contains fishing gear, a portable cooler, plenty of archery paraphernalia, poison ivy ointment, a flannel shirt, and jeans, all the products necessary for Jeremy Renner or an individual hoping to emulate Jeremy Renner to go on an adventure in the great outdoors. However, an investigation from Slate raises questions. While not making any assertions about Renner's actual acumen as an outdoorsman, the article does point out that Renner doesn't look like he knows what he's doing while posing with camping gear for his Amazon promotional shots. Renner points his bow and arrow away from its target, and he sits next to a campfire that's surrounded by flammable objects, both obvious safety hazards. Additionally, he holds binoculars without looking through the lenses. In fairness, Renner doesn't hunt or fish, which explains why his photo with a reel and rod combo looks a little awkward. He's also modeling these products, so, you know, it wouldn't make sense to hide the celebrity face behind those binoculars. Let's face it, human civilization is insecure about its masculinity. On that note, Jeremy Renner's a guy who plays tough dudes in movies. It just so happens that he once worked as a makeup artist at a Lancome outlet in a Modesto, California mall. And numerous Renner profiles have treated this fact as much more interesting and unusual than it actually is. According to the first episode of the Renner Files podcast, his stint with Lancome took place in the 90s. Back then, the eventual cast member of Avengers Endgame needed a day job to cover basic living essentials between commercial gigs and stage plays. Renner explained, "...in the theater, we had to do our own stage makeup. I figured I could tone it down and do it on hot girls all day. It wasn't the case. It ended up being older ladies, which was just fine." Nowadays, Jeremy Renner is a guy you call when your movie needs a Han Solo type of dude, irreverent and rough around the edges, but basically well-intentioned. Earlier in his career, Hollywood nudged Renner in a very different direction. At that point, agents and casting directors saw him more in the frequently villainous mold of Jared Leto than as a potential next Harrison Ford. And here's a little-known fact. The Avengers was actually Renner's second collaboration with Buffy the Vampire Slayer creator and Avengers director Joss Whedon. As it turns out, Renner played Penn, a vampire and serial killer who terrorizes Los Angeles in a 2000 episode of the Buffy spinoff Angel. And in 2002, Renner added his first headlining movie role to his resume with the true crime biopic Dahmer. If Swat hadn't come along and shifted his career trajectory, Renner might have evolved into the sort of actor whose name pops up whenever it's time to cast another Joker. It's routinely reported that Jeremy Renner does his own stunts whenever humanly possible, and he's also never been shy about telling interviewers his attitude about fear. 
He has what you might call mixed feelings about fear. He's never said he hates it, but he clearly considers it a somewhat overrated instinct. Renner told Playboy in 2015, "...fear is a huge part of most people's lives. It's a very oppressive human emotion, the most powerful human emotion." By the magazine's account, Renner claims he did something scary every day from his early 20s into his early 30s, and the result is a reduced vulnerability to fear. Renner told the magazine, "...like guns, sharks, heights, success, intimacy, I've checked those off the list." You're a wild man, you know that? Uh, yes, He's sir. a wild man, you know that? Uh, why don't you shake your hand? As he has no idea if it's ever helped him on auditions, Renner doesn't credit his supposed ability to neutralize fear for his acting success, but he does say limited vulnerability to fear made him a better actor, in the respect that it allows him to deliver the most honest possible version of his characters. To be clear, we think it's unlikely that Jeremy Renner will ever convince himself that he truly is Clint Barton and get picked up by law enforcement after a period of wandering around the Nevada desert shooting arrows at Hydra agents only he can see. But if it ever comes to that, at least he's got the outfit handy. During a 2021 Jimmy Kimmel appearance, Renner said he never left any Marvel movie set with props as souvenirs, having been instructed not to do that. Later, he found out the rest of the Avengers' main cast just took whatever they felt like whenever they wanted. In fact, Chris Hemsworth owns multiple Mjolnirs and keeps the ill-gotten magic hammers scattered around his house. After learning this, Renner helped himself to a Hawkeye costume. Today, when Jeremy Renner volunteers at his daughter's elementary school, he does so in full-on Hawkeye regalia. So I said, fine, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it dressed as Hawkeye. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah. just uh, plus it up, right? Why not? As is widely reported, Jeremy Renner prefers to do his own stunts, as you can imagine, that makes injuries on set more likely. According to Vanity Fair, a scene for the 2018 movie Tag took a disastrous turn that subjected Renner to a 20-foot fall and a pile of broken bones. Renner broke both his arms, didn't notice, and agreed to do another take of the same stunt before heading over to the hospital. The actor told Vanity Fair, "...they said the arms were broken, so I got them wrapped up, and then I went back to work and did everything I could do to continue on as we did." In this instance, continuing on meant the special effects department had to go the extra mile and provide Renner with CG limbs to fill in for his temporary immobilized arms. Oh, this is the only time I ever got injured was in this comedy. Unlike the many other celebrity cameos sprinkled throughout Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, Jeremy Renner's appearance matters to the plot and doesn't, in the strictest sense, actually happen. At least not in the flesh. Among fan-favorite cameos like Hugh Grant as Benoit Blanc's husband, Philip, Serena Williams actually on a live monitor in the home gym waiting for someone to ask for a workout, and all of Blanc's Zoom-linked Among Us playmates, Jeremy Renner's face only appears on the label of his own fictional hot sauce. That's uh, Jeremy Renner's small batch hot sauce. <clears throat> I let him invest. He sends me, like, a pallet every year. Take a few bottles." In a joke so meta as to be utterly believable, Renner's penchant for side hustles, celebrity app, Amazon store, house-flipping rock music, was poked fun at with the introduction of a private label hot sauce by the actor that shows up at a pivotal point in the story to provide a crucial function. Is writer-director Ryan Johnson an actual genius, or is he just a huge Hot Ones fan? What if he's both? The world may never know. Announced in February 2022 at the Television Critics Association press tour, Renervations is a four-episode reality TV documentary that will stream on Disney Plus in 2023. The announcement outlines that the show finds Renner traveling the world and helping communities by reimagining unique purpose-built vehicles. We're not exactly sure what that means, but in December 2022, Renner shared a short clip to his Instagram promoting the upcoming show by saying, "...there's no better way to kick off the new year than giving back to those who need it most." Given Renner's established history of remodeling homes, not to mention the play on words of the show's title, it seems fair to assume that the actor and his team will be renovating something for families or communities in need. This could mean RVs, school buses, food trucks, mobile health clinics, or roving libraries. Depending on the situation, those type of vehicles revamped could make a huge difference in people's lives. And with only four episodes on the docket, audiences might enjoy a little slice of feel-good TV amidst the chaos of daily life. As 2022 ended, Jeremy Renner's Nevada home was snowed in. On January 1, 2023, Renner was plowing the roads nearby with his snowcat when there was an accident and Renner suffered critical injuries to his legs and chest. The actor was airlifted to a local hospital and underwent two surgeries for blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries. Following the surgeries, Renner was moved into the ICU and listed in critical but stable condition, according to a statement released by his family. Celebrity news outlet Extra reported on January 2nd that Renner was 
was conscious, stable, and speaking prior to his surgeries. On January 3rd, Renner shared a new photo to his Instagram, revealing some of his injuries. CNN reported further details of the incident, clarifying that the snowcat started rolling away when Renner was not in the driver's seat and that the accident occurred as he attempted to get back in. The Washoe County Sheriff's Department has impounded the vehicle and will inspect it for mechanical issues, but called the event a tragic accident and does not suspect foul play of any kind. Samantha Mast, Renner's publicist, released a statement earlier that same day that said, "...Jeremy is making positive progress and is awake, talking and in good spirits."